<laughs> Goldfields produces around three and a half million ounces per year and operates deep level mines west of Gauteng and in the Takwa open cast mine in Ghana. Goldfields has a market cap of 77 billion rand, a dividend yield of 3.7% and a price to earnings ratio of 9. Now, I don't have a crush on Nick Holland, but they do have <laughs> Nick Holland. No, so not. let me start with you on this, Paul, before it comes back to bite me. <laughs> Look, uh, similar, slightly less quality assets, although that KDC section, which is the old Kloof, Drifontein mm -hmm. mines, certainly a good ore body. South Deep is a very interesting one. That's the one that Kebble was working on and, you know, is a very good ore deposit, very deep, but yes. requires a lot of capital to get down there, and they're just beginning to bring that on. Talk was a more, you know, conventional, uh, low-grade, but, you know, close to the surface type operation. So similar corporate strategy. Again, though, um, you know, haven't really delivered on their promises of five or six years ago when they were talking about four million ounces a year. Has had problems, has had all of the attendant issues. They had the worst situation recently with almost all of their workforce that was out looking for, you know, higher wages. So they've kind of broken that relationship of trust that they had with the National Union of Mine Workers, which is losing ground to AMCU. The whole thing's getting very tiresome. And it's really, you know, with all the rise in the gold price, you'd think with a weakening rand, you'd think this was a stock that would have done well, but look at it there. It's kind of drifted around at just around 100 but rand a share forever. this is what we're seeing from all the gold miners. This is not uh, something completely unique to gold fields. Yes. And listen, drifting around, holding up against a huge <laughs> odds. That's quite an achievement, you know. Give a little credit, <laughs> just a little bit. And, uh, and Come I on, Paul, buck up now. <laughs> no, no you I know, I mean, their PEs are all now much more reasonable. Yes, you can say that for 10. them. Yes, 9, 10. That's, that's not too bad at all. Dividends, of course, are almost non-existent. That's a problem, I think, particularly with Anglo Gold. Um, but... but Ian, uh, um, Nick Holland has also had his fair share of, of bad news of, of yes. late, of, of bad publicity. Yes. And that can't help the situation. No, no, not at all, especially when it comes to raising new capital. But despite what Moody said, it is not junk status, at least not in my mind. There are huge reserves there still. Uh, I think it's Driefontein, a cash cost of mining at about $700 a ton, uh, a South Deep at about $1,000 a ton. With the current gold price at 1700 there's lots of space there uh, for, for new capital development. No, that's one. If I had to buy a gold share, I'd put it on the list. If you so had to buy a, a gold yes. share, nobody's going to force you on this show. Okay. Specifically, <laughs> Paul Turan okay. is not going to force you. No. Yeah, I mean, it is really what you've experienced is this kind of um, narrowing of their uh, objectives. I think they are all keen to stabilize their profit yeah. and their dividend practices. I mean, in the old days, they were not really looked to to do that. They were sort of feast or famine type yes. of shares. People were happy. They made enormous profits in the good years. But lately, I think they've all tried to improve their uh, balance sheet quality. They've tried to stabilize things, but it's been tough for them, very sure. tough. A absolutely. Because, you know, the electricity thing uh, to start with is a massive, massive yes. input cost for them. L wages. I think what all of them have done is tried to reduce the number of people working in the mines, and right. that's in a way why we have the labor unrest there, because yeah. this is an industry that's been shedding lots of jobs. In the old days, there used to be people to do almost everything, from make tea to drive the lift to do the rock drilling. Now they've really tried to reduce the amount of people involved to just those elements where only a human can you know, make a decision on the ground as to where the reef is going. And I think with a mine like South Deep, it is so deep, the ventilation problems are so high that they're going to have to have greater mechanization. Not good for South Africa. And hot whole. or not on goldfields? No, not hot. Hot or not on goldfields? No, I'm not hot on all of them. <laughs> Don't give it okay. away before we've, we've still got three more stocks to discuss on the show.